Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Dain Sakia Afdal, and today we're going to be discussing about the isomers of C5H10. So the first one is 1-pentene, is a chain of 5 carbon atoms with a double bond on between the first carbon and the second carbon, but we name it 1 because we name it after the first bond. Next, there is a E to pentene. E here means trans. Trans means that the H, the hydrogen on the double bond, are on the same side and it's on the second carbon atom. It starts from the second car carbon atom. Next is Z to pen pentene. Z means cis. Cis which means that the hydrogens are on opposite sides. Next is 2-methyl-1-butene. It is a chain of four carbon atoms with a methyl group on the second carbon and a double bond starting from the first carbon. Then there's 2-methyl-2-butene, which is also a chain of four, four carbon atoms with one methyl on the second carbon and a double bond starting from the second carbon. Next is 3-methyl-1-butene which is also a 4-carbon chain with 1-methyl, one 1-methyl one on the third carbon because we start counting from the right side and the one double bond starting from the first carbon because we start from counting from the right side. Next are cycloalkenes. First one is cyclopentene, which is just a chain of five carbon atoms that are linked together. And then there's methylcyclobutene because it is a chain of four carbon atoms with one methyl group sticking out. And then we have ethylcyclopropane which is uh, this triangle which is called cyclopropane and an ethyl group sticking out of it. And then there is 1,1-dimethyl cyclopropane because there are two methyls going out from the first carbon. Next here Next we have trans R 12 dimethyl cyclopropane where there are this R means that you can rotate it anti-clockwise and both both parts rotate anti-clockwise so it's trans. Next is trans S 1,2-dimethyl cyclopropane. S means that they rotate clockwise and both of them go the same way so it's trans. Next is cis 1,2-dimethyl cyclopropane. One side is R and the other one is S which means they go in different directions that's why it's called cis. Thank you. 
Thank you. And that are the and those are the isomers of C5H10.